Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, the second video this week and we are finished or I am finished with the animation. Um, yeah, the video is a bit um, up and down, I've tried to show you all the things that uh, partake to the animation. As you can see I'm working keyframe to keyframe, every 5 frames is a keyframe with 30 frames per second that are animated about a hundred frames so basically a bit about 20 25 keyframes in the end um, that i had and i started with the first person the lady in plate male that you can see i'll have the uh, actual finished um, animation in a small loop in in, in the corner um, i won't have it continuously on the corner it's just there every now and then uh, what I did also is I made a custom background as you can see it's really a simple thing I mostly threw in a few pieces I already had I made a simple model for the um, wall and uh, floor and put in a few windows um, yeah and then I basically just threw that in the scene together with the uh, Genesis to female models that I used um, and yeah um, first I started animating uh, the plate girl I started the walk animation towards the other uh, group um, and one of my inspirations that I am not having in this video is uh, one uh, uh, an animation I think owned by Ubisoft for Heroes and Mighty Magic 5. It was a um, animation, a, 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 an advertise, an ad animation, and uh, promo animation basically, um, where they uh, showed one of the units in the game that uh, was walking, and this is kind of the inspiration for what I did. So at some point I had a first draft, which you will see in a few seconds. So this is the first draw or draft that I actually made, the first render one time in normal speed. And this is the slowed down because I actually made the animation so fast that I had to slow the final animation down. Um, to around 0 0.6 uh, uh, times the actual speed. Uh, this is why it's a bit longer than usual, simply because I actually had it so fast, um, set, set so fast, that it wasn't really working out. Uh, the first one I basically did to see, okay, how this is look, and the decoder on this just went high wire, so this is why it's so pixelated. But um, I wasn't happy with it anyway because I wanted to have a moving camera inside, which uh, I set up much, much later. So uh, you can see basically saving this. Saving this with each few keyframes took a lot of time. And you can see at this point um, I was at around 75, 77 frames. I, I rendered 77 frames at this point. You can see I planned up to have up to 150. Um, in the end I had around about 100 or, or yeah I had 100 frames from 0 to 99 um, with um, the last two frames being just a still more or less um, because I just I didn't want it to cut directly after the last movement um, yeah and after I basically had the animation of the first character down I um, animated all three of the other characters, all three of the guards. Um, at this point I actually thought about do I have to animate all the guards or can I just wait until they pop into view and um, uh, until they pop into view and uh, then render this one and I decided no, I want to actually have the guards move even if you're not seeing it because if I ever decide to set up a second camera that focuses on the guards um, have they um, have basically the camera watch them while they turn before I twist the camera to, to reveal that they are greeted by or greeting the, the superior uh, officer um, this was basically the idea I had a chance to, to do this in different uh, angles 
and I probably will uh, do that one of these days just um, have my uh, PC uh, on and render this while I'm not uh, home um, because the actual render rendering time was uh, about three hours for the first version and about uh, four hours for the last version. Um, one uh, last note, um, I actually had to animate all the pauldrons each time which was really interesting and also kind of annoying. Yeah, but that's it. Um, enjoy the actual finished product. First is the uh, really quick version and then you have the correct uh, slower version of the animation. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys around.